So what is a dollar in terms of nuclear reactivity? That is a rather sophisticated question, and I hope I can do this justice in this very short TikTok. When we have neutrons that are emitted from fission, they have very different rates at which they're emitted. Most of them are prompt, coming right out of the fission. Some of them occur from radioactive decay. Those take a little while longer to come into the neutron population. And as a result, in order to get the generation from one generation to the next to be a fixed value, that ratio that we call K, you have to wait for those radioactive decay neutrons to be folded in. And so to get an average amount of time that it takes for one generation to go to the next, it's extremely long because you're waiting for those radioactive decay neutrons. And so it's kind of like taking an average amount of time it goes, takes to go to the beach when everybody's driving except for one person that's walking. The average would be really long because you have to average in that one person's walking even though everybody else is driving. And so the average amount of time that it takes for these neutrons to contribute to the neutron population is made much longer because of these radioactive decay neutrons that come in. And so the amount of reactivity that you get from those radioactive decay neutrons is what we call a dollar. Now it's different if you've got plutonium fuel or uranium fuel or uranium-233 from the thorium cycle. Each of those have a different amount of these delayed neutrons. And it's that reactivity equivalent of the delayed neutrons that we call a dollar. And so we measure reactivity changes in a reactor in terms of dollars and cents or fractions of that amount of reactivity equivalent that you get from the delayed neutrons. So great question. I hope I made it uh, easily understandable. Let me know if not. Thanks for asking it. Have a good day. Bye.